Hello, good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session. The uh, confirm the date, apologies, 19th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at, at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data, we have Asian markets mixed overnight, the uh, Shanghai down whilst the uh, uh, Nikkei is certainly higher, okay. Uh, the US market certainly very weak yesterday to a large extent, although they did shake off the concerns in Europe. So again, that certainly is a, a warning sign for those that are overtly bearish. Be careful, a short squeeze uh, is certainly coming. Now, in terms of economic data this morning, uh, really it's all about the inflation data out of Europe, which came in line, and the European trade balance certainly came in stronger than expected. Okay, we do have uh, additional data out in the afternoon uh, with regards to US mortgage applications, crude data and Fed Bait book. Nothing really of any real market moving events, okay. Earnings yesterday, Goldman Sachs missed by minus 5%, stock down by 5%, GBP, Euro both higher on the back of weaker dollar and thereby hurting risk, okay, especially with regards to the snap general election that was called in the UK. Uh, also, with regards to Saudi as well, potential uh, doubt with regards to Saudi cutting out or, or uh, cutting its uh, OPEC quotas, etc. Uh, again, that certainly is enhancing the uh, the move on the downside of the FTSE 100. Let's just bring up the chart of oil whilst we're talking about Saudi. Also, with regards to INO and copper, certainly hitting the market quite substantially yesterday. Uh, commodity concerns, okay, really was the, was the was at the forefront uh, of the uh, the risk of trade. Now, our present copper certainly has bounced off the lows, so again, certainly a positive sign. Let's just bring up the chart of oil. Okay, so oil certainly bouncing as well off that 200 MA on the daily chart. Okay, so again, certainly building some type, type of base here, certainly not moving to the downside. So again, promising for the actual uh, indices themselves. Okay, let's look at the actual technical picture now, given the fact that the NASDAQ and the S&P certainly kept afloat. You have the uh, DAX into its gap fill support zone now, so therefore one would argue uh, DAX is certainly going to uh, hold that gap. You have diagonal trend line as well. So two zones where the DAX will certainly uh, maintain its bullish bias. Okay, So if the DAX is certainly looking to move higher, then you are looking at Europe moving higher as well. You do have uh, the lower channel support on the German DAX, so therefore looking to pounce. You are looking at 12,100, potentially 12,150 on the German DAX on the upside. So certainly looking for upside here, given the gap fill support zone. Okay. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC certainly bounced off that uh, pivot low at 4,980. Unfortunately, I, I did have a long overnight that was stopped out um, on the back of, or given the overnight volatility, etc. Okay. So again, uh, 60 minute chart is certainly holding that support level at 4,980 and bouncing here. If we do bounce, then there certainly is a strong possibility we can bounce as high as 5060, to just bear that in mind, especially given the fact that inflation data certainly remains subdued, okay, at, at best, okay, so just bear that in mind. So you are looking at potential thrust high here on the French CAC, so bulls certainly uh, are fighting back here. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so the daily chart is uh, indicating that uh, we've certainly... Uh, uh, sold off quite substantially. A bottoming tail certainly is going in on the daily chart. Thereby, one would argue that you are looking at a potential lift here. Now, one of the things that really does uh, surprise me in terms of the FTSE, yes, okay, Sterling certainly rallied. So the inverse relationship obviously holds, and I totally understand that aspect of it. But a general election really is uh, is considered to be bullish going forward, given the fact that it reduces a lot of uncertainty. So from my perspective, it certainly should have been, yes, I understand the... Uh, Sterling obviously moved higher on the back of that certainty, given the fact that we are going for a softer Brexit, and thereby Sterling certainly rose sharply. I mean, almost a 400 pip move at one time. Okay, so again, that certainly hurts exports, and that's why the FTSE was down quite substantially. That's totally understandable, but I do think it was overdone. Okay, that's my understanding and my interpretation, especially given the fact that oil prices stabilised, uh, given the fact that you did have no news with regards to Saudis not coming on board in terms of the output cuts yet. That certainly did hurt sentiment and that did exacerbate sentiment to a large extent but i still think it certainly is overdone especially given the fact that u.s markets have failed really to make any new downside if you look at the actual s p 500 if i give you an insight here you can see the s p i mean no real move down uh, we, the s p was even unable to actually even close that gap below so again it certainly is um, 
confusing as to why the uh, the FTSE certainly sold off as sharply as it did. Uh, you also have a potential here for an inverted head and shoulders formation now as well. So given the fact that you have a potential for the inverted head and shoulders formation, which can be seen on the 60 minute chart, uh, you can see this potential pattern playing out here, folks. So watch out for this pattern on the S&P. Okay, so your left shoulder is, excuse me, left shoulder is here. Your head obviously is gone in already and you're obviously carving out this right shoulder now and then you're looking to pounce and move higher and look to potentially close that gap at uh, 2357 so watch out for 2357 being closed now we did have comments <clears throat> with regards to mr trump yesterday saying that the healthcare bill will be passed and that infrastructure bill or infrastructure spending will be will be passed alongside a, a, another bill so again that certainly is bullish in terms of the uh, the actual uh, in terms of the of, of the actual uh, market itself, obviously in anticipation of this uh, potential reflation trade and and hoping with regards to fiscal stimulus. Okay, so FTSE, like I said, you're looking at a potential bottoming tail here on the FTSE 100 on the daily chart. Certainly looking at holding support, 60 minute chart again, multiple support zones in this region here, which can be seen at 7135. So therefore, you are looking for a potential pop. Looking for a short squeeze now. Well, how powerful that short squeeze is again. Uh, I mean, we could certainly pop as high as 7200, 7220, 7240, 7260. Certainly pop very, very hard. That's all I can say. Okay. Certainly a very, very high and strong possibility of popping very, very hard. So we'll see exactly how the market evolves there. Okay. Right. So FTSE 100 certainly looking to move higher. And the 10 minute chart, let's just give you a potential target if we do move higher. Your first target obviously will be gap fill. Okay, so gap fill is seen at uh, 7158. Let's aim for gap fill. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, looking for that gap to close first and foremost. And, and then we'll react from there. Okay, right. Uh, last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's bring up the Euro stocks here, folks. Okay, Euro stocks, 10 minute chart, certainly pushing higher here now. Uh, you have horizontal support or resistance at uh, 3425, 3424. And then obviously, you can push higher if you do continue to push higher, 3440. And then obviously, you've got 3440. 3460 and then potential gap fill at 3470 region so interesting scenario for now you're looking at gap fill on the FTSE European market certainly stabilizing in the back of a uh, US market certainly stabilizing and thereby you are looking at an inverted head and shoulders bullish pattern in the S&P and therefore you're looking for European indices to move just accordingly as well the sell-off certainly is overdone very emotive and uh, again like I said looking for that correction okay i think that's a good summation then of uh, european indices be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now folks